What's going on YouTube? It's Josh from TCG Unlimited here. Today we're doing our YouTube video debut. This is the first time I've ever been on YouTube. This is the first time I've really ever videotaped myself and it'll be the first time I've ever edited a video. So if it's not very good, um, I promise it will get better. My equipment I'm using, not the greatest. I'm using my phone to record this video. And I'm using a Canon, um, sorry, Nikon uh, camera over here to record this video and I have a microphone not very expensive equipment i do ask that you pardon me and ignore what's going on back here i'm in the process of remodeling my office here at the house um, where i am video recording this um, that all being said well hopefully i'll take care of that uh soon maybe probably not <laughs> but I'm remodeling my office like I said I have a super special uh, box opening video for you here today we've got some Yu-Gi-Oh product uh, I had a nightmare of a day trying to get this product um, my distributor that I go through we ran into some issues and it turns out that he decided to take off to WCQ in Texas with my product so I had to track down another case of the Yu-Gi-Oh that we're going to be opening today um, like I said I do have a whole case I'm not going to be opening a whole case because like I said it's my first time uh, doing a box video on YouTube and I don't want to overwhelm myself on the first video with editing and everything like that so um, that all being said let's get right into this like i said we got super special for you guys here today um i have six boxes of battles of legends relentless revenge i'm going to be opening i'm only doing six boxes i'm not doing the whole case because uh video editing and time limits i'm getting this case a lot later than i wanted to and i don't want to be uh taking all day because i do have to get these posted up for sale i don't play the game myself i only um i collect ocg cards but i don't collect or play with TCG so these will all be posted up for sale on TCG player I'll have a link to my store in the description of the video below uh, it is Wisc cardboard um, on TCG player and six boxes of Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge let's get right into it and start with box number one um, now in these boxes um, everybody knows that Battles of Legend Light Revenge was a pretty insanely good set. Um, a lot of reprints in that set that were just like, holy cow, um, Minerva, Omega, um, just a lot of reprints. We have a lot of reprints in this set now with uh, Relentless Revenge. Um, some better than others. And what stands out to me, maybe Solemn Strike, Solemn Judgment. We got Monster Born as a secret in this set. That's pretty good. Um, and then some okay other ones. We got Dark Worm as a secret, I believe. Um, and then uh, some other things here. We got starting off, we got Brilliant Fusion. Man, that looks good as a secret rare. Holy cow, I like that. Brilliant Fusion, of course, for um, Gem Knight support. We got Una Zombie. A lot of people are asking for an Una Zombie um, rarity upgrade. Um, so there it is, everyone. Una Zombie and an Ultra Rare. Yeah, it looks nice too. A lot of these cards are just going to look amazing um, with these printings. Unending Nightmare, decent reprint there. Full Metal Foes, Alkahest, Hyatt the Earth Star. There's a lot of new cards in this set. We've got like number 90, um, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. We've got like um, the new Fairy Tale archetype with Princess and Cinderella, obviously. Um, and that, oh, there we go, Trickstar Reincarnation right off the bat, man. This card uh, was going insane after um, Trickstar Sky Strikers dominated at uh, YCS. So that card was like $50. It was going for a copy. Now it's, it's dropped a little bit lower, and I believe it's getting another reprint in the Megatons. But there we go, Trickstar Reincarnation, Secret Rare, Second Pack. Holy cow. Torrential Tribute, another great reprint in this set. Uh, I've always been a fan of Torrential Tribute when I used to play competitively. I ran that card. Uh, that was many, many years ago, but it was it was good, and I, I believe it still has a, a spot in the uh, meta um, in today's game. We got Neo Space and Neo Space and Grand Mole. Uh, Neo Spaceans. I think it's more filler than anything else. I don't think they really have a spot in the meta. Uh, we got Windrose, the Elemental Lord, and Born from Draconis finishing out that second pack here um i'm gonna go a little slower for the first couple boxes here like i said just doing six boxes today not the whole case 
I will be moving up to doing cases in the future. Six boxes today because uh, of time and everything else, like I said, but uh, Prince Essen, there we go, Secret Rare. That's that new Cinderella archetype. Uh, Prince Essen, she can attack directly. The whole archetype really revolves around being able to get uh, Golden Castle Stromberg on the field. There we go, Noble Knight Majorat. Uh, Noble Knights have some reprints in here. Merlin, I know uh, everybody was kind of upset that that uh, Platinum Rare was it was pretty hideous, I want to say. Um, we got Naruto, the Moral Leader. Sandeon, the Time Lord. The Time Lord's got uh, printed in this one. And then Altergeist Hextia. Some of the Altergeist, uh, I believe two of the Altergeist got reprints in this set with uh, corrected card text. So um, that was pretty much a mandatory reprint uh, as far as Konami was concerned there. Uh, I don't know anyone personally who plays Altergeist, but I'm, they're decent, I think. Um, Triggering Worm. I'm sorry about the glare, too. This is terrible. Like I said, my um, equipment and videos will get better. Uh, this is my very first one. So Triggering Worm as a secret there. Slash Draw, uh, a nearly impossible card to pull off, but if you can, um, I believe it's a one-turn OTK. Um, if you can pull it off, but like I said, uh, not consistent, not very likely that it's going to be ran very well. Uh, Litmus Doom Ritual, Ultra Rare there. Cyber Larva, another kind of filler card in the set. Um, Cyber Dragon's getting some support coming up in Cybernetic Horizon. Uh, and then World Legacy's Heart, finishing out that pack there. Like I said, I'll go a little slower in these ones, kind of explain the cards. Once we see, we start getting some... Uh, Duplicates here. I'll speed it up because I do need to get this video done in time. Dragonic Diagram. Holy cow. Dragonic Diagram and Trickstar Reincarnation in one box. We all know what Dragonic Diagram does. Uh, took a little bit of a hit when World Peace, uh, or Masterpiece, I'm sorry, not World Peace, Masterpiece got banned, but uh, True Draco is still a strong deck. Uh, Solemn Strike. There we go. Like the Solemn Strike. Here, let me move these kind of more into frame here. We got Secrets there, Ultras here. My frame's not very big. I need to get this set up a little bit differently here, but let me fix that here. Sorry about the delay. There we go. Ah, Solemn Strike. Everybody knows what Solemn Strike does. Uh, definitely just a staple card in the game, really. Uh, Gabrion the Time Lord, Duelist Alliance, and Raphion the Time Lord. So we're getting some Time Lord card pulls out of this box here. Another pack. We'll keep her moving. Just keep chugging away on these cards here. I still got quite a few boxes to open, so I'm gonna try and get it all in one video so I don't have to splice too many. We've got Glyph or Glyph the Phantom Bird. That's your uh, Golden Castle Stromberg Searcher card, Altergeist Manifestation, like I said, Altergeist uh, corrected card text on those, so. Preparation of Rights, Kyoto Waterfront. Don't know what that card does. Let's see if we can read it real quick, see if it'll focus for us. Each time a card's a card, -z, that's weird texting, cards, is sent from the field to the graveyard. Place one kaiju counter on this card for each sent card. Max five, it looks like. Once per turn, while one or more kaiju counters are on this card, you can add one kaiju monster from your deck to your hand. If this card would be destroyed by a card effect, you can remove one kaiju counter from this card instead. So a little kaiju support. Um, of course, uh... Litmus Doom Swordsman there and Ultra. Um, like I was going to say, um, Gamma Seal, the Kaiju Sea Turtle, I believe, got a reprint in this as a secret rare. Uh, Dark Lord Ixshell, that's a pretty card there. Nice looking card and secret rare, Dark Lord Ixshell. Summon Dice. Dice got some cards in this. Oh, Solemn Judgment too. Oh, that's nice. Noble Knight Brothers. Um, as I was saying though, Cyphering Driver. Dice got some support in this. Um, box or set anyways um dice is just a, it's always been a slow kind of battle mechanic kind of relies more on luck than anything else so i don't see that getting a ton of play like orgoth uh the relentless orgoth the relentless got uh a, a printing in this one um like you said dice is just so unreliable so infinite light there we got Cephi cephalon the time, ultimate time lord ultimate time lord on that one holy cow look at that level that's a cool looking card too we got Baguska, the terribly, I'm not even going to read that card, but that's Baguska. Everybody knows Baguska. It's uh, one of the better level four Xyz monsters when Xyz were uh, level four engines were really kind of uh, running the game there for a while. Dark Lord Nastin and Trickstar and Arcissus. Trickstar is getting support as though they needed it. More support. They're already a fast uh, engine to work with. Uh, like I said, Dark um, 
Sky Striker and Trickstar were just dominating at YCS, um, and the prices of those cards just jumped through the roof. We got Metal Foes Mithrilium. Man, that glare is really crazy. I do apologize for that glare. Pyrex, the Elemental Lord. Cyber L10. TG Wonder Magician. I was wondering when we were going to pull this card. That's a really nice reprint. I'm kind of excited about that. TG Wonder Magician. It's just a nice looking card. I've always been a fan of the synchros with the white background on those cards. Dark Lord Contact. And next pack. Of course, in these packs, um, being a Battles of Legends set, uh, everything's uh, Secret Rare and Ultimate Rare. If you haven't figured that out already. Uh, you get four Ultimates and a Secret Rare. It looks like the Secret Rare is in front of every pack. On these, another Dark Lord X Show. I'm putting them in the wrong spot. Iron Cage, Neospatian, Aqua Dolphin. Again, Neospatian's getting up oh, Cyber Dragon. Neospatian's getting support that they probably didn't need, or uh, reprints. I'm sorry, not support that they probably didn't need um, unless they're getting some good support. Um, they're just not good. <laughs> just put it plainly, they're really just not good. There we go, Monster Reborn. I was super excited here that this was getting a secret rare reprint. We haven't seen a Monster Reborn reprint in a while. Um, I believe that's off the ban list at one, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But uh, it's just nice to see um, an old classic nostalgic card like Monster Reborn getting a secret rare reprint. Ten of the Sky Star. Oh, man. Torrential Tribute, another Torrential Tribute. There's the Pumpkin Carriage. Now, Pumpkin Carriage works hand-in-hand -hand with Golden Castle Stromberg, um, granting immunity and... Uh, just more effects for uh, that archetype. Um, Stromberg already being a pretty OP card. I've seen a few uh, FTKs and stuff coming out of that. Um, I'm trying to speed this up a little bit, guys. I'm sorry, I'm taking a little while. I just like talk glorious numbers, like talking about the cards here. Slash draw again, that's nearly impossible. World Legacy Discovery Ultra. Ultra Guys Hexia. And Kaiki the Unity Star. Um, haven't seen a number 90 Galaxy Eyes. Photon Lord yet, I believe. Haven't seen a Top Logic Gumblar Dragon, Borogar Dragon. Those are some of the Union Hanger. There we go. That's a little ABC support there. Litmus Doom Ritual, the uh, Iron Hans. Top Logic Gumblar Dragon and the uh, Borogar Dragon, I think, are a couple of the higher dollar cards in this set. Maybe 15 bucks or so each on that. Um, Convert Contact and Shura the Combat Star. And speaking of money cards in this set, Golden Castle Stromberg is probably the chase card, the money card in this set. Um, a little overhyped in my opinion, I believe. Um, also, I'm pretty sure it's a short print. So, um, Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, that was a pretty uh, decent common card that got a Foolish Burial Goods. Now, there's an upsetting reprint that we just got like three reprints of Foolish Burial Goods um, in the last few sets. Um, so, again, just filler on the part of Konami, kind of a lackluster um, reprint in this set that it could have been so much better if they would have just left some of those reprints out. Rainbow Dark Dragon there, Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow, and Bottomless Trap Hole. I don't know if anybody runs Bottomless Trap Hole anymore. I don't think it's very good, but I suppose it's just slow. Being a trap card, slow trap card, there we go. Hey, speaking of, Flash Charge Dragon, that's one of the uh, Link monsters in here, Link 3, all the up arrows on that. Not sure what the effect of that monster is. Let's see if we can read it here. I might not be able to read it through the camera. It's not going to focus for me. Uh, let's see. I'm going to read it here, guys. Uh, you cannot summon set monsters to his own. This card points to once per turn if a monster is normal summon or special summon to zones this card points to. So you can't, you cannot, but your opponent can apparently summon or set monsters to a card to a zone this card points to. You can destroy one monster this card points to, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. When a card of, or effect is activated that targets this face-up card, quick effect, you can tribute one monster and negate the activation. So, eh, kind of lackluster. I don't see that being pulled off too often, because uh, if your opponent knows that they can't uh, summon there without getting uh, some burn damage, they probably won't. Okay. Noble Knight Madrat there. Keep going. Solemn Strike. The Kaiju Files. And Hi-8. Is it Hi-8? Hi-8? Hi-80? The Earth Star. I <laughs> don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but uh, it's the Earth Star on those. Um, sorry about that. I hit the camera a little bit. Get a little shaky there. All right, let's keep going. Holy cow, a second Trick Star in the first box. That's pretty good. Uh, Banishment of the Dark Lord. That's two Trickstar reincarnations in one box. That is pretty freaking incredible here. Eater of Millions. I know a lot of people are uh, 
kind of uh, talking about that, getting a reprint in there. Iron Knight, that's another one of the uh, fairy tale support cards there. Neospace and Air Hummingbird. Neospace and getting some some reprints that they may or may not have needed or wanted. Well, anyone in the meta or TCG really didn't need or want. Phantom Knight's Fog Blade. We've got some Phantom Knight reprints in these as Secrets. Uh, Pyrex the Elemental Lord again. Altergeist Manifestation again. Cyber Larva and Dark Lord Contacts. So we're starting to see a lot of uh, duplicates. This is only, I believe, a 105 card set. Uh, 65 Ultras and 40 Secrets, I believe. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, there we go. Imduck the World Shadows Dragon. That's one we haven't seen yet. That's a uh, pretty nice uh, reprint in there. That's a good looking card, honestly. Unizami again, Duelist Alliance, and Litmus Doom Swordsman. Let's see if we can get through two boxes on one video on the camera. I can only record 29 minutes on the uh, card opening camera here, and then I'm, like I said, I'm using my phone on the other one, uh, Infinite Light. So we'll see if we can get two in here, two boxes, before I have to uh, cut away and start another video there. Side frame driver again, and Bottomless Trap Hole. Rounding that pack out. Again, if you guys like this video, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, I'm going to keep uh, glass slippers. That's the first one of those I think we've pulled. If you guys like the video, if you want to keep seeing more videos, uh, if you want me to keep producing more videos of box openings, I do, I do plan on doing um, Yu-Gi-Oh! I do plan on doing some Magic and Pokemon as well. Um, like I said, I sell all these cards on TCG Player. I'll put the link in the description below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you uh, like this video. Leave me a comment. Tell me what uh, cards you're most excited about in this set, what you're looking forward to kind of playing around with and, and play testing. Another Bagoo together, TG Wonderman Edition. I'm always interested to hear what uh, what's going on in the meta, even though I don't play competitively. Um, I do still have interest in the game. Um, I just don't have time to really get into it competitively. I have a family. I have a six-month-old daughter, and uh, I don't really have. I can't really travel. I work a full-time job, so I don't really have time to go to tournaments and locals and things like that. But I do still have interest in the game, so I would like to hear what you guys are excited about. Iron Draw. Uh, Hail on the timer. So go ahead and leave some comments. Hit the like and subscribe. And um, hopefully I'll be able to keep bringing you guys uh, great box openings like this. Um, and like I said, we'll keep uh, getting bigger and better and, and things like that. My uh, equipment. Will... I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop hitting the camera in the middle of there. Uh, sorry about that. I had a phone call. We got triggering worm. I had a phone call come in while I was recording. Uh, Iron Cage. I guess that's one of the risks you take when you use your phone to record these videos. Pumpkin Carriage and Trickstar Nicusis. we got uh, a couple packs left in this box here, guys. I think I might just switch up the uh, camera for every uh, box here so that I don't end up running um, and having to uh, restart the video here. Infinite Machine. Perform Age Trick Clown. Some of the Perform Age stuff got reprints in this set. Whether or not Perform Age is still uh, viable, I don't know. Um, but they sure do look cool. I mean, that is just a cool looking card there. Perform Age Damage Juggler. We got a light level 4 Spellcaster. 1500 attack. I mean, searchable card, seems to me. And Alright guys, here we go. We've got uh, box number 2. Battles of Legend. Relentless Revenge. Let's see if I can get the plastic off the box here. I don't think I cut into it enough. Let's see. There we go. We got the plastic coming off now. We'll get into this. Um, first box, two Trickstar Reincarnations, a couple of Monster Reborn, some stuff like that. I don't think we saw the uh, Top Logic Gumblar Dragon. We definitely didn't see a um, Golden Castle Stromberg. Um, like I said, that is probably the Chase card. We didn't see a Borogard Dragon or a number 90 Galaxy Ice Photon Lord. But I'm not complaining. Like I said, two Trickstar Reincarnations and a Dragonic Diagram in that first box. I almost forgot we pulled a Dragonic Diagram too. That's always good. Uh, here we go into the second box here. I'm going to start speeding this up, guys, because we've seen most of the cards in this set. Like I said, there's only 105. There's that Merlin non-platinum rare uh, reprint there. We'll put these uh, secret rares here this time. Undending Nightmare. Torrential Tribute. Windrose, the Elemental Lord, and Born from Draconis. Draconis, that's a nice word. I kind of like that word. Um, there we go. Merlin again. So two Merlins in a row to start this one off. Neo Space and Grand Mall. Uh, Noble Knight Madrat. Sand on the Time Lord. Altergeist Hexia. Hextia. Hextia. That's a strange word to pronounce there, too. 
And we're just rolling right along here, guys. Like I said, I got six of these boxes to open. Living Fossil, I believe that's the first time we've pulled that card. Naruto slash draw, Cyber Larva, and World Legacy's Heart. Uh, we're going to roll right along here. I got six boxes to open, so that leaves us four more after this one. We're now three packs deep into this box. So I want to keep uh, keep this rolling. I don't want to make this video too long. I don't want you guys to sit there for a Boral Guard Dragon. There we go. We finally got one. That is uh, the Link 4 3000 attack, one of the big beater uh, Link 4 monsters in the set. The other one, of course, being um, Topologic Gumblar Dragon. World Legacy Discovery, Perform Age Damage Juggler, and Windrose Elemental Lord. A lot of we're gonna see a lot of duplicates in these boxes, guys. Um, set is just uh, really small, um, and just I mean it's all ultras and secrets. So flying elephant, there you go. That's your one hit KO uh, from the uh, fairy tale archetype. Perform age trip clown, solemn strike, duelist alliance, and wrapping on the time lord. Kind of interested to see what people are able to pull off with the time lord cards. Uh, I've seen a few deck profiles uh, on YouTube. I didn't watch through a lot of them. I watched a couple of the uh, OTK, FTK, one card, T, um, one card kill or knockout um, decks with uh, Golden Castle Stromberg. Seems pretty OP. Uh, Cyber Emergency there. Gabri on the Time Lord. Of course, uh, doesn't feel to me as though it'd be super um, consistent. Uh, kind of gimmicky, kind of a cheesy deck, as people like to say. Um, there we go, number 67 pair of Dice Smash. I wouldn't mind seeing a few more number cards out of this. Preparation of Rights. Summon Dice. Again, the Dice is just it's such a slow and gimmicky mechanic. I don't feel as though people really play with that. They kind of These cards are kind of printed for nostalgic purposes being used in the anime originally. Um, I don't, there we go, Card Trooper. There's an OG card there. That's been around for a while. Solemn Judgment, Cephalon the Time Lord, Dark Lord Nastin, Trickstar Narcissus. Um, yeah, the Dice, uh, or the Time Lords, I'm sorry. It'll be interesting to see what people can pull off with the Time Lords. Um, don't see the Dice mechanic going very far. Another Glass Slippers. That's kind of a, a different, uh, kind of a gimmicky mechanic for uh, the Cinderella card. I'm sorry, I was covering up the foil there on that one. The Guska, Pyrex. TG Wonder Magician, Dark Lord Contact. We're going to keep rolling here. Try and get as much done as we can possibly. Can we be able to get two boxes done in this video instead of having to restart it in between? Hexatrude. This card got edited from the, uh, censored rather, from the uh, OCG. Uh, I guess it was just unacceptable, uh, inappropriate for the younger um, kids in the USA, I guess. Uh, Cyber Elton and Neospace and Aqua Dolphin. I don't know how many uh, real young people, super young people, play this game anymore because the mechanics have become so advanced. Uh, not advanced to the point of maybe like magic, but um, definitely more advanced, I believe, than, than probably like Pokemon. Um, number 90, there we go. Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. That card right there is, is pretty good. <laughs> I'll pick it up here in a second and read the uh, effect for you guys. But that card, I was pretty impressed when I heard, when I read about this card when it was coming out. Um, I believe that this card could see some competitive play. I'm sorry, there's the picture on that. Um, I'll read the effect here for you guys. I won't be able to read it through the camera, so I'll have to kind of lean over here. Two level 8 monsters and sees um, rank 8 monster here. If this card has a photon card material, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can only... You can only use each of the following effects in number 90 Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord once per turn. So each of these effects once per turn has two effects, obviously. Um, let's see. First effect. When an opponent's monster activates its effect, quick effect, you can detach one, Ameri one material from this card, negate that monster's effect. And if the detached material was a Galaxy card, destroy that card. So then uh, the second effect, during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can take one Photon or Galaxy card from your deck and either add it to your hand or attach to this card's material. So not only do you get a, uh, a popping effect once per turn, but you get an auto-replenishment popping effect because you can add um, a Photon from your uh, hand or from your deck to your hand or attach to that card's material. Why you wouldn't attach to that card's material, I don't know. But you could put it to your hand, say you needed uh, a little more... Um, a little more board presence um, over everything else. There we go. Golden Castle of Stromberg. That is the chase card of the set. I'm sorry, I'm getting away from Galaxy Eyes. Um, like I said, why you wouldn't add it to that card as a material right off the bat, I wouldn't know. But you get that popping effect, and then you get to replenish the popping effect, and it just keeps going and going and going. As long as you have Photon or Galaxy um, 
in your deck to keep supporting the effect that monster will keep going and it's a 2500 beat stick so i mean i was pretty impressed with that card when i heard it was coming out um not as impressed as i was with golden castle of stromberg i'm not going to hype this card because i don't believe that this is very sustainable i don't believe it's very um realistic that it's going to be run in the meta as a as a very strong meta archetype but as a fun deck to play around with i think that this could be just the, the maintenance cost of this card alone to banish 10 cards every turn I get a little overhand and everybody you know i've heard people say well what about like necroface or something like that well now then you're depending on uh outside archetype support to try and get this archetype to kind of work and I, it's too gimmicky to me i don't feel as though it's it's very viable in the meta um, but it is a good looking secret rare card i mean that's just beautiful um and like i said it's the chase card of the set it's right around 30 35 dollars right now i believe Torrential Tribute, where we go, Slash Draw, Alter Guys Hexia. I do apologize, you guys, if I'm kind of rambling off on this a little bit. Um, just like I said, this is my first YouTube video. This is going to be the first time I've edited a YouTube video. And uh, so I'm just, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, and I just kind of want to make sure that I do a good job on this. So you guys will subscribe and like the video and keep watching. Uh, I'd like to be able to bring you guys more videos like this, but if if I don't get any uh, views or subscriptions, I'm not in this to make money on YouTube at all. Um, like I said, I sell these cards online, so um, the YouTube aspect for me is just kind of a fun little thing that I'm playing around with. I've always uh, been interested in possibly getting into the YouTube thing and opening card packs online. I'm going to open the packs anyway, so I might as well open them on YouTube, right? All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Orgoth the Relentless. There's that anime card that relies on dice and I don't think that anybody will ever really play it um, let's see if I pull another one I'll read the effect on that one I don't want to slow down at this point because we're kind of rolling here so I'm going to speed this up I think we're running about four minutes faster than the last box so I just kind of want to speed this up Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm Rainbow Dark Dragon Noble Knight Madrat Kaiju Files and Hyatt the Earth Star and if I'm saying these names wrong I'm sorry Please don't spam hate comments about how I'm pronouncing the cards. Like I said, I don't play the game anymore. Um, I'm sure I've fallen out of tune with how to pronounce Konami's creations here. Monster Reborn, beautiful card. Solemn Strike, Banishment of the Dark Lords, Iron Knight, and Neospace and Air Hummingbird. Neospace and cards. Gotta love them. Gotta love the Neospace and anyways there we go top topologic gumblar dragon that is the other link for 3000 uh beat stick in the uh, deck here like i said i don't know how to play the link uh, mechanic myself i don't know how to link summon or play any of that uh, but i'll go ahead and read the effect for you guys anyways um it says two plus effect monsters i'm assuming that's its link summon requirement uh, if another monster is special summoned to a zone this link monster points to while this monster is on the field to a zone, a link monster. If a mo another monster is special to to a zone, a link monster. A link monster. It doesn't say this link monster. I'm sorry about that. While this monster is on the field, discard one or two random cards. Then your opponent discards the same number. During your main phase, if this card is extra linked and your opponent has at least one card in their hand, you can make your opponent discard one or two cards, whichever is higher. Then, if they have no cards in their hand, inflict 3,000 damage to them. You can only use one Topologic Gumblar Dragon effect per turn and only once that turn wow that is a <laughs> that effect to me sounds pretty pretty freaking good cyber or uh, dark lord content that top logic gumblar dragon guys i think that that is going to end up being probably the uh the money card of this set um just a 3000 link four beat stick and the arrows point the right ways up down left and right uh we don't have any funny arrows in that dragonic diagram that's always a good thing to pull Altergeist Manifestation, Induct the World, Shadows Dragon, Duelist Alliance, and Litmus Doom Swordsman. But uh, anyways, like I was saying, that uh, that Link 4 3000 beat stick, that uh, pretty good effect of uh, making your opponent discard. Anytime you can uh, make your opponent discard, whether or not you get that card extra linked, um, sounds to me like it's it's card advantage is always a good thing, right? Hibernation Dragon, Unizombie, Unending Nightmare, Psyframe Driver, and Bottomless Trap Hole. Bottomless trap hole. Bottomless trap hole. Oh, Konami, Konami, Konami. <laughs> there we go. Another number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. 
Cyber Elfman, Matei on the Time Lord, TG Wonder Magician. I do apologize if you guys can't read these cards. The glare is just insane in this room. And once I get it remodeled and finished um, and take care of the mess that's behind my head, uh, I will also be working on taking care of the glare and getting a little bit better lighting so that when I do these videos, uh, I'm not fighting with the, the glare and lighting and you guys aren't struggling to uh, read the cards as well. Um, hopefully I'll get a little better setup where I can move my camera back um, or up a little bit higher so that I can also get a better wide shot of this hex true. Like I said, this is my first time, so it's not going to be perfect. Uh, I appreciate you guys for understanding and not spamming uh, hate comments about how terrible my video is, uh, Noble Knight Brothers. But instead, let's uh, let's have a discussion in the comments about you know cards in the set or just uh, cards in, in general that you guys are excited in the upcoming. Uh, we got Cybernetic Horizon right around the corner. There's another Topologic Gumbar Dragon. So we went forever without seeing one. Now we got a couple. Um, yeah, cards like uh, Cybernetic Horizons right around the corner. There's some uh, fantastic cards in there. I believe we're supposed to get another Sky Striker uh, Link support in that one. Um, and then uh, right after that, we've got. Uh, oh, sorry, I hit the camera again. Right after that, we've got um, Valhalla uh, Valkyries. That sounds interesting. The Valkyrie that uh, can completely skip your opponent's turn, probably be on the ban list. Um, almost immediately, but if you can uh, play around with that for a little while, that sounds like it'd be a little bit of fun. Perform Age Damage Juggler. Perform Age Damage Juggler. Keep moving here, guys. Let's keep moving. Got a pile of uh, empty packs over here just fell over on me. Tornado Dragon. There we go. First time we've pulled that. That is one of my favorite cards of all time. I believe that card is just absolutely gorgeous and I'm glad that it stayed as a secret rare print um, I just if the, the way the artwork is on that card just works with the secret rare honestly to me um, and it just makes for beautiful artwork and that so there we go guys that's the second box of Battles of Legends Relentless Revenge we'll keep on moving there's that beautiful tornado dragon in this in the shot back there um, just using a, a plain ultimate guard uh, play mat under here for the video um, like I said, I didn't know how these videos were going to go, so I didn't want to spend a ton of money on a playmat, and I didn't want to be game-specific, and I didn't want to buy three playmats, one for Yu-Gi-Oh!, one for Magic, one for Pokemon, so I went with kind of a neutral, um, just some type of a playmat to uh, open these cards on, so I'm not opening right onto the surface of my desk. Um, I didn't want the cards getting scratched right off the bat, so I do use this playmat while I'm uh, kind of packaging and organizing orders for uh, TCG player sales as well. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to get something game specific and something that I can use in different videos until I figure out how this is going to go. And then maybe we'll go from there. Maybe I'll get, uh, you know, a Yu-Gi-Oh! mat. Um, maybe I'll buy a couple of different ones there. But uh, I just went cheap on this one. So just to get the video going. There we go. We're on to the third box here, guys. And let's see if we can get it open here in 14 minutes. That's all the time I have left on my camera. We've got Brilliant Fusion, Baguska, Pyrex, the Elemental Lore. That's a nice looking card. I'm not... Not even gonna lie about that. Like the camera doesn't really do it justice, but that is just the coloring on that is just nice. And then TG Wonder Magician and Dark Lord Contact. Like I said, guys, we've uh, pretty much almost seen all of the cards in this set now, if not all of them, um, at this point. So I'm just gonna kind of blow through the rest of these here real quick. Triggering Worm, Cyber Elton, Neo Spatian, Aqua Dolphin, Cyber Dragon, World Legacies, Heart. Let's see if we can pull uh, another. Um, Golden Castle Stromberg out of this box. That would be pretty nice. Oh, Trickstar Reincarnation. I'll take another one of those. I think that's the third one of those we've pulled so far. Ten Little Sky Star, Pumpkin Carriage, Born from Dracanis. Um, I would like to see a couple more Union Hangers. Um, I believe Union Hangers, ABC support. If I see another one, I'll have to uh, read that. But I do believe that it's ABC support. I know I have a few... Uh, People, friends on Facebook that have uh, asked me if I pull any Union Hangers to get a hold of them. Uh, empty Machine there, World Legacy Discovery, Litmus Doom Ritual, Convert Contact, and Shura the Combat Star. Shura the Combat Star. I don't know if we've seen that one yet. Shura the Combat Star. A little bit of uh, fusion action going on there. Fusion Monsters. I remember when we played Fusion Monsters when I was a kid and there was uh, like Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, and, and things like that, and the fusions were just ridiculously I mean it was for, for one thing it was difficult to get the fusions going and then they were just they were they were almost laughable they were they were so 
not good. <laughs> Just put it simply. Orgoth the Relentless, Rainbow Dark Dragon, Noble Knight Majorat, Kaiju Finals, and Hayat. Hayati, the Earth Star, Hayat, Hayati, however you want to say that. I should have grabbed a glass of water. I'm getting a little, my throat's getting a little dry here. Infinite, I'm sorry, not Infinite Machine, Empty Machine on that one. Solemn Strike, of course that's a staple. Banishment of the Dark Lords, Iron Knight, Neo Space, and Hummingbird, Air Hummingbird. Solemn Strike is probably a staple in most people's decks, if not all, or, or you know, side decked at least. Um, never know when that's going to come in handy. Hibernation Dragon, Eater of Millions, Pyrorex the Elemental Lord, Cyber Larva, Dark Lord Contact. Getting a lot of uh, Pyrorex the Elemental Lord and Dark Lord Contact. Um, definitely not short printed on those. Number 75, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow, Altergeist Manifestation, Mduck the World Shadowless Dragon, Duelist Alliance, Litmus Doom Swordsman. Some rituals in this as well with Litmus Doom Swordsman. Um, rituals? They're okay, I guess. I remember, uh, I keep reminiscing to back in the days when I actually played a game, when we had, um, like, uh, Relinquished came out and things like that. It was almost unheard of, but they were just really good cards. Side frame driver, bottom of the trap hole. But yeah, Relinquished, just one of the, uh, one of the very nostalgic great cards of all time. Just, uh, I mean, take your opponent's monster, um, Great form of card removal, even to this day, really. I mean, Relinquished is, is decent. Um, great form of card removal and uh, or spot removal. Solemn Judgment, Cephalon, uh, Ultimate Time Lord, Dark Lord, and Aston, and Trickstar Narcissus. We are a little over halfway through the third box here, guys. we got three more after this one. I'm hoping to see a couple more Golden Castle Strombergs. Like I said, I did buy, or I did grab um, at least a whole case of this, so these six boxes are um, just out of the... Uh, first case that I'm opening of this, so Paradise Smashing, Cyber Elton. I'm going to open the rest of everything else off camera just to uh, kind of speed up the process because I did get this case so late in the day um, due to all the um, hoops that I had to jump through to kind of get the case in the first place. Another Topologic Gumblar Dragon, so that's not too hard to pull. I was afraid that Topologic and um, I've had a figure, I had an idea that Golden Castle Stromberg was going to be short printed even before the set just because of, it, it's kind of a um, one-all be-all uh, type of card. Like you, you're either going to you're either gonna swing for the fence or you're going to strike out type of card. And I had a feeling that just being, that that was the base of, there's a Union Hanger, just being the base of that archetype, I had a feeling it was going to be short printed. Um, but I also thought maybe Top Logic Gumblar Dragon would be short printed being the 3000 uh, Link 4, um, kind of like a... Um, um, some of the other Link Force that we've had, I think Saryuja, uh, Firewall Dragon, things like that, were just such great cards that I just had a feeling that Konami kind of paid attention to that. But it looks like it's not too hard to pull, as it turns out. Kaiju Files, Perform Age Damage Juggler. Keep moving along here. We're making pretty good time on this box. Hopefully won't have to restart this video too many times. I do hope uh, that the uh, video quality is okay for you guys. Um, like I said, my equipment, not the greatest. Um, but I do have plans on upgrading cameras, especially the face cameras. I don't want to use my phone. And I don't want to get phone calls in the middle of videos like I did uh, just a little bit ago. And uh, also this camera here on the desk. Uh, I don't think that the camera um, has the greatest quality in video. Um, so I do have plans on upgrading this stuff as well. Iron Knight. Moving right along. Chugging along. Opening packs here. Um, be interesting to hear. There we go. Gamma Seal the Sea Turtle Kaiju. Have we pulled one of those yet? I'm not sure. Foolish Burial Goods, Marito Convert Contact, and Kaiki the Unity Star. Um, I'd be interesting to hear you guys leave comments if you've uh, pulled any boxes of uh, Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge. What uh, what were your takes on it? Um, you know, kind of your. Um, what were the uh, ratios of the cards for you? If you pulled a whole case or a couple of boxes, let me know. Did you pull any Golden Castle Strombergs? Um, seems like I think we pulled one of those so far. I think that's the only card that we might have pulled one of. Um, as far as money cards go, anyways. Un Zombie, Unending Nightmare. So, yeah, let me know if you guys uh, believe that that card is uh, actually as short printed as it probably is. Um, or let me know if you've uh, had any luck pulling multiples out of one box or something like that. It'd be interesting to hear. 
I always like to hear what other people pull out of their boxes too. Infinite Light, Torrential Tribute, Neo Space and Grand Mole, Born from Draconis, and Sandan the Time Lord. We've got just a just a couple packs. I keep wanting to pull the pack behind the camera here because it's kind of an awkward uh, angle that I'm sitting and leaning forward, putting my arms in front of the camera here. That is Christian Quandax. Is that Quandax? Is that the first uh, one of that synchro that we pulled? I'm not sure if I've seen that one before though. But it's a nice uh, secret rare synchro, one of my favorites. Ultra guys have to see it. Cyber Larva. Um, I do collect some OCG cards and some of the OCG cards. Uh, I, I think I just ordered a Clear Wing Synchro Dragon um, Ultimate Rare, or Ghost Rare. I'm sorry, it was a Ghost Rare that I ordered. Um, well, I bought from someone. Game Seal the Sea Turtle Kaiju. So I like uh, Litmus Doom Ritual, World Legacies, Heart and Performance Damage. That's the end of that box, guys. So we are three boxes into our six. Um, that finishes that one off. We got Game of Seal. Look at that. That's a gorgeous card. Um, that Ghost Rare. Uh, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon should be here in the next few days. Maybe uh, in one of these videos, if you guys want to see it, uh, maybe I'll give an update on uh, my OCG collection. I've got some decent stuff in there. I've uh, got some things on the way. I've got some, like a playset of uh, Collector's Rare uh, Twin Twisters on the way. That should look really sick. Um, I've got a couple of Ultimate Rare uh, OCG Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring and Ghost Ogres in there. Um, Top Logic, Gumblar Dragon, Firewall Dragon. I've got Secret Rare, Firewall Dragon, and Ultimate Rare. I've got um, just a just a little collection of OCG cards that I like. Um, so if you guys uh, have any little collections like that too, uh, maybe leave a comment. We can discuss that as well. If you guys just want to leave comments, we'll just talk about whatever. <laughs> I keep saying leave comments on this and that. Yeah, just leave comments. We'll talk about it. <laughs> There we go. A little trouble opening that pack. I have a mountain of empty packs over here to my left that I'm opening. Brilliant Fusion. It seems like we're opening every box with a Brilliant Fusion. Iron Hans, Foolish Burial Goods, Dark Lord Enchantment, Iron Knight. I don't mind it. Brilliant Fusion, decent card. Gem Knight support. Okay. Keep moving. There we go. Living Fossil. It Ibitan the Conqueror Star. I don't know if we pulled that one yet before. Naruto, Convert Contact, Kaiki the Unity Star. I'm assuming that most people at this point um, either know what's in this set or uh, have pulled some boxes themselves or they know most of the cards because a lot of them are reprints. So I do uh, apologize if I'm not reading enough of the card effects for you guys. I just wanted to go through some of the main um, big ones that I kind of uh, thought maybe would be uh, the newer cards that may be uh, meta relevant, uh, so to speak. So I do apologize if you guys want to hear, uh, you know, leave me comments of what I can do better um, in these videos. Like kind of what you guys want to see um, as far as that goes. Another brilliant fusion. Um, I'm open to, you know, constructive criticism on that. It goes like I said, this is my very first video. This is going to be the first time I'm editing a video. And this is the first time I've ever been on YouTube in general. So don't really know exactly what I'm doing or how this is going to turn out even. So let me know. For sure. See, I just did it again. I just pulled the pack behind the camera and opened it up. Another Trickstar Reincarnation. We're having good luck with Trickstars. Um, I wish I could have that kind of luck with a uh, Golden Castle Strawberry. Another Sandy on the Time Lord. I wish I could have that kind of luck with Golden Castle Strawberry, but we've still only pulled one Golden Castle Strawberry, guys, in uh, over three boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that's probably um, a confirmed short print at this point in time. Narito, Altergeist, Hextia, Cyber Larvin. If that is the case, um, if that deck does prove, that archetype does prove to be um, viable or somewhat viable even in the meta, um, you can almost bet that that card price is probably going to go up. Um, not going to overhype it, like I said, because I don't believe that to be the case. I think it's kind of a gimmick. Um, I don't think that the, the other cards in the archetype are really... Um, worthy or worthwhile to try and run as a like a meta competitive style deck maybe a splash archetype maybe just splash it in with uh, something a little more consistent maybe that you know if you happen to pull it off then you can get your little um otk or ftk going but i think you're going to need something to back that archetype up um as far as consistency goes to make it competitive but if it is, if I'm wrong, which I could very well be, like I said, I don't play competitively, so I could be completely wrong on that Dragonic Diagram, Solemn Strike, Gabrion the Time Lord, Raffi on the Time Lord, and Kyoto Waterfront. I could be completely wrong about Golden Castle. I could be completely wrong about the Fairy Tales in general. Um, and they could just be 
freaking amazing. Um, and then the card price on Golden Castle is going to go through the roof, um, being that it's that short printed Glyph. There's your searcher for Golden Castle. Altergeist Manifestation, Preparation of Rights, as though it needed more searching, right? Litmus Doom Ritual. I mean, you can get it out with, what, terraforming. Um, I know there's probably some other support that uh, would allow you to pull out a uh, field spell card like that. So, it, Glyph, eh, that's all right. Dark Lord Ixchel. Summon Dice, Solemn Judgment, Psy Frame Driver, Dark Lord Nastin. We're uh, halfway through the fourth box. That's the complete right side of the fourth box there. We got this one and two more to go. Infinite Light, Cephalon the Ultimate Time Lord, Baguska, Trickstar Narcissus, and TG Wonder Magician. And at this point, guys, we are halfway through the right side of the box. I'm going to have to uh, stop the video, restart it. Um, so that uh, I don't run out of time because I'm at like a minute and a half left on the camera. So here we go. I'm going to restart. And we're right back into it. Doing the left side of the uh, this uh, fourth box of Battles of Legend. Let's see if we can get through this one and maybe a whole other box. Metal Foes Mithrilium, Pyrex the Elemental Lord, Cyber Elton, Dark Lord Contact, and Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon once had its heyday. It's getting more support in Cybernetic Horizon. I don't know if anybody's excited about that or not. Dark Lord Ixchel. I know there are some uh, diehard, diehard uh, Cyber Dragon fans. Iron Cage, World Legacies. Oh, there's another one. Pumpkin Carriage. There are some diehard uh, like Cyber Dragon or uh, Machine deck players out there that are looking forward to uh, uh, some some more uh, reliable support on that. Let's see what we have here. Monster Reborn. Ten of the Sky Star, Torrential Tribute, Born from Draconis, and Ultrageist Hextia. Feels like we haven't seen anything like super good in, in quite a while, so maybe we'll get uh, maybe we'll have another Golden Castle in this box. That would be pretty amazing, wouldn't it? Glorious Numbers, Slash Draw, World Legacy Discovery, Kai Key the Unity Star, and Convert Contact. Another pack here. Keep going. Give us something good. Come on, Konami. We want something good. Eh, Union Hair. That's all right. Litmus Doom Ritual. Iron Hands. Shura the Combat Star. Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow. Eh, decent. We want something good. We want, like, a Golden Castle Stromberg. We want, like, another Trick Star Reincarnation. Be all right with that. Top Logic, uh, Borogard Dragon, something like that. Supreme King Dragon Dark Worms. Nice support reprint there. Foolish Burial Goods. Rainbow Dark Dragon. Bottomless Trap Hole. Kaiju Files. Lots and lots and lots of repeats and reprints. <laughs> it just keeps going. Um, there we go. Flash Charge Dragon. Another uh, Link 3 there. Noble Knight Madra. Solemn Strike. Hayati the Earth Star. I keep coming across that Earth Star, and one of these days I'll probably have somebody come up to me and uh, really angry and like, that's not how you pronounce the card name. This is how you pronounce it. <laughs> I can wait. I can see it happening. So if you ever see me, uh, recognize me. Don't do not do that to me. Hey, there we go. Trickstar Reincarnation. Almost called it. We were just a couple packs off on that. Banish the Light, Eater of Millions, Neo Spatian, Air Hummingbird, Cyber Lar. Unfortunately, it uh, doesn't seem like Trickstar Reincarnation is too hard to pull. Um, I think we've seen more than that. More of Trickstar Reincarnation than we have Dragonic Diagram. Um, the price of Trickstar Reincarnation should uh, kind of drop down. Maybe that was the uh, point of uh, reprinting it in this set for Konami. Maybe they paid attention to the... To the um, Meta, and we're like, hey, if everybody's going to play this card, it's going to jump up to 50 bucks. Maybe we'll just reprint it, and that'll sell the cases for us of uh, Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge. I mean, that's smart business for them, right? Hibernation Dragon. Induct the World Shadows Dragon. Uni Zombie. Litmus Doom Swordsman. Psy Frame Driver. I mean, that seems like good business to me. I would do the same thing if, if you know, there was a product that the price went up on and everybody wanted to uh, run it that card in particular I would uh, reprint it in a set and kind of make it slightly easier to pull so people buy more of these boxes trying to get Trickstar Reincarnation. Last pack of the fourth box guys here we go let's see what we can pull and glass slippers for a secret earn. Matei on the Time Lord, Beguska, Guy Saber Lightning Shadow and Neo Space and Dark Panther. Oh, sorry about that that is the uh, fourth box down there 
Uh, we're going to... Oh, this is a mountain of empty packs over here. This is crazy. <laughs> this is just absolutely insane how many packs are sitting on my desk over here open. Um, let me move these off to the side, guys, and we'll get started on the fifth box um, opening here. Box number five, and then we have one more to go. Box six, then we get to editing this video and get it posted up so you guys can actually see what we're doing here right now. Um, like I said, guys, if you like the video, you want to see more of these videos, make sure you hit the like and subscribe for me. Um, and then, uh, of course, turn on the notifications with the bell icon. Um, and then uh, I'll know if you guys want to see more. If you guys didn't like me or didn't like the video, then don't worry about it. And then I won't make any more, and you'll never have to see me again. <laughs> Monster Reborn there. Perform Age Trick Clown. Solemn Judgment. Litmus Doom Swordsman, Noble Knight Brothers. I think we're getting, um, I think we may have pulled every card in this set now. I don't know how many more uh, unique ones there are, if there are any, but uh, I think we're going to probably see uh, a whole lot of uh, reprints, repeats here for the rest of it. So I'm just going to kind of bust through these last two boxes and get moving here. Um, I'm kind of running out of time here. Dragonic Diagram. I'm always like pulling those Foolish Burial guys. Trickstar, TG Wonder Magician. I'm going to try not to mumble too much, too. I have a habit of doing that while I'm opening these cards. I kind of read the name to myself and uh, lower. Uh, Paradise Smasher, Rito, Tenma of the Sky Star, Dark Lord Contact, Cyber Dragon. See, I did it again right there. I started mumbling. I had to kind of catch myself. i got to remember that I'm filming this uh, for you guys to watch. So um, I do apologize. Like I said, guys, if the uh, quality of this video is uh, subpar for what you guys are used to. I know I'm not a SEMO uh, a or uh, Simply Unlucky or somebody like that or uh, Cyber Knight. One of my favorite box openers, honestly, um, Cyber Knight. So shout out to you, Cybernet. If you end up watching this video, just uh, make sure uh, leave a comment for me so I know that you're watching. I think that would be that would be pretty freaking awesome. Uni Zombie, same thing with you, um, Simo and Simply Unlucky. I know that you guys are just some of the names I threw out there, but if you guys happen to watch these videos, leave a comment for me so I know you did. That would be that would be pretty freaking cool. Let me know how I did too, because you guys are kind of uh, pros on this, so I could use your criticism. Torrential Tribute, Born from Draconis, Ultra Guys Hexia. We're going to keep moving right along here. That's enough uh, shout-outs, I think, um, for the other Yu-Gi-Tubers. Yu I'm not... Top Logic Gumball Dragon. I'm not trying to be a, a specific a, a Yu-Gi-Tuber. Like I said, I do plan on doing Magic and Pokemon because uh, I do uh, sell those cards on my um, TCG player as well. I'm a little more familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! because it is the game that I did play as a, as a kid. So it always has a special place in my heart. Supreme King Dragon Dark Room, Rito, Slash Draw, Shura the Combat Star, and Gaia Saber Lightning Shadow. Yu-Gi-Oh! always has that special place uh, for me because uh, I just remember buying that first um, buying that first Kaiba starter deck when I was a kid that had the Legend of Blue Eyes, or I'm sorry, it had the Blue Eyes White Dragon um, and things like that. And I just, I was hooked on it ever since. Tornado Dragon, there we go. I think it's only like the second or third one we've pulled of that. Always one of my favorite cards. Bottomless Trap Hold, the Kaiju Files. Of course, I did have the, uh, I bought the starter deck Kaiba first, and then, uh, of course, I had to get the starter deck Yugi as well. Um, I believe I got starter deck Yugi for my birthday or Christmas or something like that with the uh, Dark Magician and that in there, too. Perform Age Trick Clown, Psalm Strike, Patty, Iron Knight. Was always a fan of the uh, Summon Skull style beatdown deck when I was a kid. I always ran, like, um, Summon Skull and a bunch of four star, 18 beaters, seven colored fish, Lodge in. Um, Harpy's Brother, things like that. Living Fossil, Gavion, and then uh, of course you had to run the um, couple copies of Hayabusa Knight so you could attack twice in the same battle uh, stage. That was one of the only cards that had that effect up until that time, or through that period anyways. Gamma Seal the Sea Turtle, Preparation of Rights, Summon Dice, Dark Lord Contact, Duelist Alliance. Overall, I don't think my camera's doing too bad of a job focusing um, while I'm going through these cards like this. So, props to that. Brilliant Fusion, Solemn Judgment, Cephalon the Time, Ultimate Time Lord, Litmus Doom, Cyframe Driver. Back's a little stiff, sitting kind of in an awkward position here, leaning forward, kind of hunched over the desk here. To, I cannot get this. See, I just did it again. I pulled the pack in towards me, and then I hit the camera. What kind of YouTuber are you? Number 27, Dreadnought Dreadnought. That's a good card. I think that Dreadnought... Uh, Number 27, I think that's bouncing right around, I want to say it's bouncing right around like 14, 15 bucks for that card. Um, pretty decent, pretty decent card, honestly. I don't know if I read the effect on that card or not, but I'm sure you guys probably know what it does by now. Princessin, 
Cyber Ultimate, Neo Spacing, Gaia Saber, and Neo Spacing Dark Panther. Sorry guys, I had an itch. I had an itch. I had to itch it. It wouldn't go away. <laughs> oh man. I did it again. Oh jeez. Alright, we'll have to edit that out. I knocked the camera forward. Phantom Knights of Silent Boots, Iron Cage, Ten of the Sky Star, Noble Nice Brothers, Pumpkin Carriage. There's going to be a lot of editing in this video, I can already tell, because uh, I'm kind of... Uh, there we go. Let's tilt this up just a little bit and see if we can. Well, if we can. Tilt that up. There we go. There's going to be a lot of editing in this video, I feel. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I got new editing software, so kind of... Uh, Interesting to see what I can make happen with that. Torrential Tribute slash Draw, Trickstar and Arcasis, and Kaiju Files. Uh, I hope the sound quality is okay. The, the microphone I got, um, not the most expensive microphone, obviously. Like I said, I didn't go out and spend a ton of money on uh, equipment for these videos uh, because I didn't know if it was going to be worth it, if you guys wanted to watch them, if you guys would even like me or uh, you know my personality kind of um, while I did these openings. So I didn't go all out and buy like super expensive GoPros or anything like that. I just kind of went with uh, some stuff I had laying around and then I ordered some stuff off of Amazon um, to kind of get me by through a few videos. So if these videos turn out well and you guys want to see more, I will upgrade my equipment. Union Hanger, Rainbow Dark Dragon, Noble Knights, Iron Knight, Convert Contact. I need to speed it up a little bit to get through this box and then uh, maybe we can get through the second one as well. So, or the last one, I'm sorry, the box number six. Infinite Light, Solemn Strike, Banishment of Dark Lords, Kai Ki, the Unity Star, and Cyber Dragon. I'm pretty positive that we've seen all of the cards in the set up to this point. Still only one Golden Castle Stromber. Um, you know, guys, we're almost done with the box number five of six. Um, that means that a half of a case... And we've only pulled one Golden Castle Stromberg. I think it's safe to say maybe, uh, you know, two to four a case. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to pull a, a bunch more cases to actually get a for sure number on that. But I'm, I'm assuming it's probably around two to four a case. Dark Lord Eggshell, Ultimate Manifestation, Induct, Windrose, Born from Draconis, uh, which would be right around about a little bit not as not as easy to pull as maybe like Sky Striker, Mobilize, and Gage. Um, that card was, I think it bounced right around, I want to say like four to eight per case. I think eight was the most I heard of anyway pulling out of a case. And I think a lot of people pulled like six on average. Um, and that card was like a hundred dollars. I think it still is up there. I'm not sure what it's going for right now. 85, 80, 100, 113. It was 113 guys. I'm not being unrealistic. I, the card was literally up to like $130 at one point in time. I mean, it was just an insane and, uh, and of course, after topping YCS with uh, the Trickstar engine and uh, Sky Strikers, I think that you know that really went insane. It kind of drove people to buy more of those packs, so the price kind of stabilized itself around there. Um, fantastic archetype, fantastic card, just fun to play with. I haven't done it myself, but I've watched um, a few uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh or YGO Pro or whatever it's called videos online of people running those cards. I do like to. I, I enjoy watching the game. Um, that way, but uh, that that looks like a that looks like a pretty fun deck to play with, play around with, honestly. All right, guys, here we go. Box number six. This is the last box. Let's see what we'll, let's see what we can pull out of this. Let's see if we can get another uh, um, Golden Castle Stromberg or not. Glorious numbers. Cyber Elton, Mateo, the Time Lord, Cyber Larva, World Legacy's Heart. We got 20 minutes left on the camera that can shoot. Um, let's see if we can get through this box by the end of that. Iron Draw, Baduska, Hylon the Time Lord, Perform Age, Perform Age Damage Juggler, and Windrose Elemental Lord. Hold on, let me move these over, guys, so you can kind of see what we got going on here. I got two stacks. I got Secret Rares and Ultra Rares going on there. So there we go. Supreme King Dragon, Dark Worm, Summon Dice. Iron Cage, Duelist Alliance, and Raphaeon the Time Lord. Raphaeon. Kind of remind me of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Raphael, Raphaeon. Eh, it's a stretch. Phantom Knights, Fogblade, Pre Preparation Brights, Perform Age, Trick Clown, Kato, Waterfront, and Litmus Doom, Swordsman. Yeah, we're blazing right along here, guys. We're opening these packs now. Let's keep that moving. 
Another Trickstar Reincarnation. We're doing pretty good on those. Solemn Judgment, Banishment, No Light, Cyber Driver. Another uh, Trickstar Reincarnation. Obviously not the hardest card to pull in this set. I almost did it again. I gotta stop doing that. Gotta break that habit. Let's see what we got here. A Glyph the Phantom Bird, Iron Hans, Foolish Burial Goods, Dark Lord Nasty, and Trickstar Narcissus. I'm probably driving, uh, if Simply Unlucky watches this video, I'm probably driving him nuts, putting my finger on the uh, foil. I've been trying to kind of catch myself doing that, but nah. Nah. <laughs> I don't have enough room to work with, honestly, guys. So the hand positioning, um, if it seems a little odd or unnatural, it, it actually really kind of is. Naruto, the Moral Leader, TG, Wonder Magician, Dark Lord, Contact. I don't think the glare is quite as bad as it was. Um, maybe the sun kind of went behind me. I have a window right above my desk here that we're using for natural lighting, and then I have a ceiling light as well. I think maybe the uh, sun might have gone behind a tree in the backyard or something. Eater of Millions, Cyber Dragon. What am I talking about? I'm just kind of talking about random things. The, the, the sun. Just, it, it went behind a tree in the backyard, and we're just opening Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's what we're doing here. Glass Slippers, another one of those. Uni Zombie, Unending Nightmare, Pumpkin Carriage, Born from Draconis. Another pack. We got two packs left on the right side of box number six. We'll be on to the second half of box number six, and that is the last and final Elemental Hero Honest Neos. I think that's the first. I think it's the first one of those we pulled. Holy cow! Box number six until we pull an Honest Neos. Short print? I don't think so. I think we got. I think we got uh, taken. I think they took us to the cleaners on Honest Neos. <laughs> Triggering Worm, Noble Knight Madrat, Dorito, Convert Contact, and Shura Combat Star. That's weird. I'm pretty sure that's the first Honest Neos we've pulled out of uh, all six of these boxes. Well, five and a half, anyway. Christian Quantinox. That nice, cool card I like. Slash Draw, Litmus Doom Ritual, Gaia Saber, Bottomless Trap Hole, Bottomless Trap Hole, Useless Trap Hole, more like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if anybody plays that card. It's really not useless. I just like making fun of it. Monster Reborn, World Legacy Discovery, Performage Trick Clown, Kaiju File. I mean, there was a once upon a time when I played the game when, I mean, you would run like three trap holes and uh, like three Fisher in your hand, in your deck because those were the best cards we had. We only had like Legend of Blue Eyes and uh, the starter decks at that point in time. So I know all about uh, that. Merlin, Solemn Strike, Gabrion the Time Lord. Iron Knight, Neospace, and Air Hummingbird. I keep looking up off the window because it's just a beautiful day out here. Um, I mean, it's hot and humid, but I'd rather have that than 13 inches of snow on the ground, so that's always good. Infinite Machine, Altergeist Manifestation, Preparation of Rights, Cyber Larva, Duck Lord Contact. I'll count how many packs we have left on the... I think we're close to halfway through the left side of the box number six. Boral Guard Dragon... Summon Dice, Solemn Judgment, Duelist Alliance, and Litmus Doom Swordsman. We have, let's see guys, let's get rid of the box here. I'll throw that down on the floor here. We have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs left. So we're, uh, what, a third, two thirds of the way through the box? We have one third left. Eight packs. Now we have seven, because I just opened number eight. Empty Machine. Cephalon, the Ultimate Time Lord, Baguska, Psy Frame Driver, Bottomless Trample. Let's kind of organize these stacks just a little bit better here. And we can kind of uh, center them too because, well, that, I mean, it kind of works with them off to the left there because, or off to the right because I'm right handed. And I put the cards down with my right hand, so trying to catch myself from uh, lifting the card up off of the uh, screen when I do that. Cyber Emergency, Pyrex the Elemental Lord, Cyber Ultimate, TG One Mission, Guy is a Saber Lightning Shadow. Gaia Saber Lightning Shadow, that just kind of rolls off the tongue. Like, it's just, it's just kind of a natural name of Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, it's kind of a weird card. Neospatian Dark Panther, Noble Knight Brothers. Noble Knights, are they going to make a comeback? I don't know. I used to play Warrior deck, um, well, it was kind of like an oddball Warrior deck with uh, a couple of. Um, of um, Marauding Captains and Don's Zalus and Exiled Forces. And then, uh, you know, of course, you had to throw the Yada in there because of the Yada Lock. Um, this is back when I was, you know, younger when Yada Garsu first came out and it wasn't banned. Um, man, I used to wreak havoc. Wreak havoc with that deck. 
um, I actually stole the build from a, a friend of mine when we were kids at that time. Um, and then he, I couldn't beat him. And if you can't beat him, join him. So I basically copied his whole deck. And that deck worked uh, wonders, phenomenally. So thank you to him. I'm not going to drop any names. But thank you to that friend of mine for loaning me that deck. Idea when we were kids. Won quite a few tournaments with that. That was always fun. There we go, Union Hanger. Second to last pack now, guys, in the box number six here. We're almost done. Iron Knight. Last pack right here, guys. Six booster boxes of Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge. We're on our last, very last pack. Uh, we've only pulled one Golden Castle Stronger. Safe to say it's short printed. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's short printed. Um... I don't know. I don't know how you could argue about, against that. I, I, the card, it's got to be short printed. Whether Konami will admit that it's short printed or not, because we all know they do that. Um, <clears throat> Ash Blossom. Um, but here we go. Golden Castle Stromberg, guys. Last pack of six boxes. I just, I was just saying how it's short printed, and then there it is. Really, <laughs> Golden Castle Stromberg. There we go. Noble Knight Madrop, Solemn Strike, Convert Contact, and Kaiki the Unistar. Unity Star. So there we go, guys. The six booster boxes of uh, Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge. Um, six booster boxes. I think we did pretty good, pretty well. I've heard. I've not. I could not verify. I haven't added uh, value. Obviously, just finished recording. Um, but I've heard. You know, we're right around seventy-five, uh, eighty-five dollars uh, booster box on value wise. If you're looking to sell these cards, uh, get in, get out, get in quick, and get out even faster if you can. Uh, I expect prices on these cards to drop fairly uh, quickly. I want to get these up on TCG Player as soon as possible. All the pricing goes live. I am not a retail store, so my pricing goes live at midnight. Uh, these cards are going to be posted uh, to move. I don't want to sit on anything too long. Uh, e economically, it just doesn't make sense. And from a, a kind of a business business standpoint, it doesn't make sense for me to sit on these things. So I price everything to move. Uh, typically, I have the lower prices on that stuff, but... Uh, um, this isn't an advertisement video, so um, but I want to kind of run through this real quick. Uh, you know, Top Logic Gumblar Dragon, not that hard to pull. 3000 Beat Stick, Link 4, uh, Borogar Dragon, I know we've seen a bunch of those. Number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. Um, we've seen a, a moderate amount of that card, I believe. Uh, Draconic Diagram and Trickstar Reincarnation. All in all, not that difficult to pull. Um, I think we pulled probably six or eight of, of those, um, somewhere around there. I didn't, I lost count. Um, two Golden Castle Strombergs and six booster boxes, guys. Come on. That is definitely the short print card. That is the chase card. That's the card that everybody's going to want to go for right now. Um, would I recommend you buy this this case? If you play the game and you want the cards and you or you just collect or you want the cards buy away by all means buy whatever you want to buy if you're looking to try and make money off of this set uh like i said get in quick and get out even faster i would not um i am not going to be buying more of this set after monday tuesday because the prices are going to drop uh dramatically and drastically over the next few days especially right at midnight tonight uh, when it hits uh, june 29th and this card set goes live uh, those prices are going to drop so that being said, guys, uh, like I said, my name is Josh. This is TCG Unlimited. This is a new YouTube channel. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and I'll be sure to bring you guys more content. Thank you for watching.